All right, so I was going to talk a little bit about how I made this tailpiece for this banjo. I have in the past made them out of things like forks. Let me see what this one's made out of. See that one? That's made out of a kitchen fork. But you'll notice the bolt in this one is pretty close to the middle of the can. On this banjo, not so much so. The bolt actually needed to come out a lot closer to the edge. I couldn't get a fork to fix it. I was actually going to use a real, what we call a no-knot, which is a real banjo tailpiece. But it was too close even for that. So what I did instead, I got me a, one of these paper clippers, or I should call it a paper clip, or we use them to sometimes clip potato chips bags or something. And I took it apart. I basically uh, pushed this little clamp part off of it. And I took this part and uh, basically put that one, the one I used had a bigger hole, through the bolt, bent it over, drilled five holes in it, and I've got me a homemade tailpiece. Pretty snazzy. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So, after I got through with this banjo last night, I went out and got me some stain and put on my little homemade piece here to make it not stand out so much. And, heck, why don't I just play us a little song on it this morning? That'd be fun. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do as soon as I finish that is go out and cut this bolt down that's sticking out down here. Make it a little short bolt instead of a long bolt. second. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, where are you, Mad Dog? Over. Oh, 